software for creating and displaying multimedia animation software so as the name suggests animation software is used for creating animation the software contains tools for the drawing of images the creation of keyframes layering of objects and the importing of other media so what we're going to do is discuss some of the tools involved in animation software and we're going to do this referring to a little animation that i've made and the first thing we're going to talk about is the actual accessing of frames and keyframes so we use frames and keyframes to enter images into our animation file now the keyframes allow us to draw onto them and put the images the way we want them so specific elements relating to an image's form and location only need to be drawn onto the keyframes by a user so this might be one every 10 20 30 50 depending on how much moving your object's going to do frames okay and which way you specifically want items to be and then what the animation software does is in those intermediate frames, the frames between keyframes, it automatically inserts those frames based on where the object starts in one keyframe and ends in the other. It figures out what the intermediate frames will be and it moves the object or changes its shape accordingly. So if you actually look at the, in, the animation in the middle of the screen, you can see the boat is in three distinct locations. It's at its highest point, at its most left point, and at its most right point. They are the three keyframes for the boat. And then what I've done is I've inserted a tween that then moves the boat between those three points. And it's the same with the waves as well. They're all set to move every 30 frames. Okay, and that's where the distinct three keyframes are, 30, 60, and at 90 frames. I then inserted tweens that allow the actual animation software to create the intermediate frames to create this fluid animation. So what are tweens? Well, we've got tweening and morphing tools or a shape tween, which is what morphing sometimes referred to as well. Okay, these are the tools that create those intermediate frames. A traditional tween is what allows an object to move from one spot to another. So at frame zero, my actual animation, or my little boat is sitting at its most left. At at frame 30 it's at its most right and at frame 60 it's at its highest point and then back at frame 90 it's back at the beginning at the most left point and that's how it loops around in this pattern okay and that's all using a shape tween the waves as well are also using a shape tween going from left to right and slightly up and down as well still only being drawn every 30 frames this in the same way morphing is slightly different and there's not a morph on display in this actual animation but that would be if my boat then transformed into another shape what it does is breaks apart its pixels and then allows those pixels to rearrange and change color into a completely different thing so that would be for example if my boat suddenly transformed into a, a plane okay it's pixels all separated and then suddenly it was the shape of a plane you can morph any image from one image into another but once again you need to establish that through the use of keyframes all right but that is how morphing or shape tweening differs from a part based tweening the next thing we need to use when doing animation is a timeline. The timeline allows us to establish where our keyframes are going to be, as well as can, uh, insert our actual uh, tweens into our actual animation. So you can see the starting point of my actual animation here from frames one to 30. You can see I have three layers, okay? A wave one layer, a wave two layer, and the boat. All right, and that allows me to animate them all differently. That's why they're not all following the same path. It's because they're all on different layers and on those different layers, all seen as independent objects. Okay, but the timeline itself allows us to structure and sequence the actual animated file. What I've done here is the different objects can be inserted onto the different layers of the timeline, the wave, the boat, and the second wave, allowing for the different objects to be mapped to different animated parts based on the actual layer. So I hope you can see that there that I have three layers going on and they're all mapped and animated in different ways to make it look like the waves and the water's flowing different directions and the boat is flowing on top. So the layers are extremely important. If I had two objects on the same layer, they would have to follow the same animation part. So we do have to split our objects onto different layers. Okay, the actual black dots on the actual timeline are my keyframes, and then the spaces between are the intermediate frames. And the fact that they're highlighted purple and have that arrow shows that I put in a motion tween, okay, which has been automating that actual pathway. So the boat actually moves automatically between keyframes. The final thing that's built into animation software that's of note is that it has inbuilt programming languages like any other authoring software. And authoring software these days uh, for animation uses languages, mostly these days HTML5, though in the past, when the old Flash days, which is how I created that animation, ActionScript was also quite a popular language for the programming of animation. 
when you actually program animation, you can put in interactive elements such as buttons or that, that either can take you to different scenes of the animation or execute certain parts of an animation and make different things happen when you click the button. Okay, making it more interactive and obviously enhancing user experience. So that's why there are so many, uh, or were so many flash bait sites on the internet because it gave us a lot of freedom to be able to program it elements like that and made uh, these multimedia packages quite interactive and enjoyable for users okay but these are slowly on the way out in favor of html5 now which is the preferred programming language for animation so i hope this video has given you an understanding of animation software and essentially what we can do with it we can insert frames and keyframes we can use tweens to insert intermediate frames between keyframes to give our animation an automatic movement okay from one spot to another or change its shape depending on what type of tween we use we uh, create and sequence our actual animation using a timeline and layers to separate objects and map them to different movement parts and we can back it all and get really into the nitty-gritty of our animation through programming with languages such as html5 and actionscript